Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A couple days ago, Topaz Labs updated Sharpen AI to version 3.0.0. Now at the same time, they did update Denoise AI to version 3.0.2. And those of you that follow my channel know that yesterday I did a video on that update to Denoise AI, and I wasn't very happy with it. I didn't like that update at all. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Also, I have a little flag pop up in the right-hand corner here. You could watch that video and understand why I wasn't happy with that update. Well, I'm pleased to say I'm very happy with the Sharpen AI update. I think they did a really nice job with the changes they made to Sharpen AI, and I think it's working better than ever. Now, to demonstrate it, I have this image of this Japanese macaque. I'll zoom in. You can see it's very, very blurry, not acceptable. And what I did was, before I updated my Sharpen AI to the latest version, I sent the image over into the previous version and I sharpened it. And it came out like this. And you can see it looks much, much better. So the original version or the previous version of Sharpen AI did a really good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this blurry raw file and we're going to send it into the latest version of Sharpen AI. And I'm going to show you some of the new features in Sharpen AI. And to send it over there, we're simply going to right click right on the image, go down to edit in and down to Topaz Sharpen AI. This little box pops up and we're going to send it as a TIFF Pro Photo RGB, 16 bits per component, resolution of 360, no compression. We're going to click edit. Top left hand corner, you can see Lightroom is creating that TIFF file, and then it will open that TIFF file up into Sharpen AI. Now I have Sharpen AI set up in the four panel view. Uh, under view, you could see there's different views you could have. I have it in the, they call it the comparison view. Um, in the comparison view, I could see all three different modes of sharpening and determine which one looks best. In the top left hand corner is the original mode, then we have the motion blur mode in the right, lower left is the out of focus mode, and then in the lower right is a new mode called too soft. Now you can see over on the right hand side we have those three modes listed, motion blur, out of focus, and too soft. Each of those three modes also have the sub settings under them. Now just eyeballing it right now, and I have this setting set on auto. So Denoy, or I'm sorry, Sharpen AI is just looking at the image and determining how much blur it should remove and so on. So I have everything to auto, but just looking at it, it looks like motion blur is the best, right? So if I'm on motion blur, you could see that there's these three kind of sub settings. We have normal mode, which is pretty much what the previous Sharpen AI was. We have very noisy. So if you have an image with a lot of noise, you could um, click there and hopefully it will rid it of that noise and save you the trouble of sending it into another application like Denoise AI. Or if it's really extra blurry, but motion blur is doing it, but just not quite, you could click on very blurry mode. And then what it will do is it will give it a little extra boost of the algorithms they use to sharpen the image. So there's very blurry, hopefully you could see, and there's normal. Now, what I like to do once I determine which one of the three is best, I may come in and start moving sliders to try to fine tune it. Then after I do that, I change the view to single view and then get a look at it. Now it has to re-render and once it re-renders, uh, I'll look at it and determine, well, you know, now they could see the entire body of the monkey. I might have to rearrange some things, but if I go to like that very blurry mode again, Maybe you could get a better idea of uh, what it does and how it works. And there's also, um, well, there you go there. It's a little bit over sharpened in my opinion in very blurry mode. There really isn't any noise in the image or there isn't much noise. So I don't think very noisy mode is applicable for this image. But when you put that on, we'll see what it looks like anyway. Still has to, yeah, it's all right. But we'll go back to that normal mode. Now, one thing I failed to mention in the Denoise video, they did make a change to both Denoise and Sharpen AI. You can see as I'm clicking through the different modes and those three different settings below the modes, that it's auto updating. 
In previous versions of Sharpen AI and Denoise AI, there used to be a little toggle switch up there so that you could turn that auto update off. That switch isn't there anymore, although it's still available. I know many of you have slower computers or older computers, and auto update could really slow down the process, right? And it was more convenient to have that switch there. They moved it into preferences. So go up to preferences in both Sharpen AI and Denoise AI, and you can see right here, auto update preview, you could turn it off there. I hope Topaz Labs uh, rethinks this and puts that switch back in the main work area interface because it's more convenient there and I know many photographers use it. So with that said, back to this image. Um, the motion blur and normal mode, I think, look pretty good. Um, pretty much identical to the previous version, in my opinion. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. And we'll just click apply and we'll just take a look at it. And one thing they did in both the noise and Topaz Labs, they really made it faster. You can see how fast that went. So that is nice. So here is the newest Topaz Labs Sharpen AI. There's our original uh, raw file. And there is the previous Sharpen AI. So previous Sharpen AI, new Sharpen AI, pretty much the same. And there is the blur. But the nice thing then, still, the nice thing about the latest version of Sharpen AI, you have that extra, you know, very blurry mode or whatever it was called, that button on the far right where you could really give it an extra boost of sharpening if needed. Also, you have that, uh, that uh, button for a very noisy image that helps too. So I think um, I really do like this update of Sharpen AI. In my opinion, they're progressively making Sharpen AI better and better. They were progressively making Denoise AI better and better, but I think they had a misstep with that last update. And again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have a, a link to it in the description below this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.